Etiquette in meetings is essential to running a successful company, as face-to-face -face interaction is necessary for effective communication and decision-making. On the other hand, meetings frequently continue for much longer than they should and fail to maintain attendance as interest. Showcase your boardroom prowess with these essential meeting items. Whether you're getting together with business partners, suppliers, or even staff. Determine the purpose of the meeting. A well-defined objective will serve to shape the course of the conference and establish its tone. Your objective ought to be very particular and quantifiable. Ask every guest to bring a list of ideas with them if you intend for them to engage in brainstorming when they arrive at the event. Consider whether or not holding a meeting is really required. The cost of holding a meeting can vary. To get an accurate estimate of how much it will cost, multiply the hourly wage of each individual who will be attending the event by the total number of hours that it will last. If you can achieve your goal by other means, such as email, a conference call, Skype, or even a brief conversation with one person at a time, you don't need to hold the meeting. Invite those who will make decisions. Participants from relevant stakeholder groups are essential to the success of any meeting that aims to produce prompt decisions. In the event that a key decision-maker is unable to attend, a subordinate should be asked to represent them. It would be ideal if this individual could speak on behalf of their supervisor, but at the absolute least, they should be able to take notes and report back. Take a stand. The average length of time needed to complete a routine meeting that is intended to touch base with employees and discuss status updates is 15 minutes or less. If everyone stands during the meeting, you'll have a better chance of keeping it brief and getting straight to the point. Plan your meeting out strategically. If you want every person at your meeting to pay attention and contribute their whole attention, scheduling it on a day other than Monday morning is your best bet. Also, stay away from the workplace on Friday afternoons because workers are typically too preoccupied with finishing up their work for the week and preparing for the weekend. Meetings should be scheduled for a day and time when attendees are most likely to be present and engaged. Establish a time limit and do your best to keep to it. Participants lose their patience and ability to concentrate during lengthy meetings that go on for hours. People have limited attention spans and time is a precious commodity. When a meeting begins and ends on time, it tends to be more productive overall. Set the agenda in order of importance. Do not put off until last the discussion of the subjects that are most vital. Discussing the most significant topics first will help ensure that the objectives with the highest importance are accomplished. In this approach, even if someone has to excuse themselves or leave the meeting early, you'll still be able to say that the primary objectives have been met. Maintain adherence to the agenda. The agenda serves as a guide, or a framework, to ensure that everyone stays on topic and that the meeting continues to go well. The agenda shouldn't be any more than one page, and it shouldn't include anything outside the primary themes that will be discussed. Conversing about irrelevant topics is a waste of time. If participants insist on talking out of turn, you should step in and offer that they talk after the meeting or organize a separate discussion. If they continue to do so, you should step in. After that, transition back to the subject at hand as quickly as possible. Telling concepts using narratives will help. Explain to a group why they should care about what you are presenting to them when you are introducing new ideas or crucial concepts, especially models that are tough to understand. Introduce the problem by telling a quick story and providing some examples. Finish things off in a concise manner. At the end of the meeting, it is important to briefly go over any choices that were made, any timeframes, and any necessary follow-up actions. Everyone who is going to take part in the meeting has to know exactly what is expected of them. Make any necessary follow-up appointments as soon as possible. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.